Oh, baby. Oh. Let's log in. Look at that big robot. It probably wants to step on me with its robot feet. It's clean, chromed out, perfect robo feet. I put on my... Put on a cozy sweater. Yeah, I heard Bruce was playing it earlier. Yeah, I guess it unlocked like uh, six hours earlier on Steam or so. I'm really excited. I hope it's just, I just hope it's batshit crazy. That's all I want. Jaders. I don't know why you need access to my firewall, but take it. All right. We got a menu where we're just twirling around the main character. Play is a bit odd, although I'm gonna wait until the shaders are optimized. Like, just the mouse cursor is kind of jerking around the screen weirdly. But yeah, maybe it's just uh, pre working. Motion blur max. Yeah, hey, optimize those shaders. Just tell me you're doing it. Tell me you're doing it. If you ask me to wait a little bit, I'll do it. Easy. Eh, some basic options here. Definitely not the explosion of like uh, accessibility stuff and customizing stuff seen in other games, but. The mouse shenanery might be the forced mouse acceleration. Don't think you could turn it off. Not sure if that affects menus or just gameplay. That's odd. Usually that stuff is is at the OS level. I should I do think I have pointer precision turned on though. I actually kind of I like I actually like the way that Windows does it in Windows. Like, if you're moving Windows around, if you're actually, like, clicking on stuff and working on stuff, I actually like there being a bit of acceleration because I have three monitors. So to sling my mouse all the way to, like, the upper corner of another monitor um, when there's no acceleration is a lot of linear movement. So it's either have a really sensitive mouse that can zip all around with very fine motions or uh, do acceleration... And it works pretty well, I think. It used to feel it used to feel like trash, but like in the I want to say around Windows 8, actually, Windows 8 to 8, Windows 10, it just felt right. It kind of fixed it. I do I don't know if that applies to games. It doesn't feel like it, but maybe it does. I am on Windows 11, Harry Wario. I haven't had any issues with it. Aside from the system tray stuff that I was complaining about a lot, well, hours ago at this point. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, the, you know what? That was it. Everything is nice and nice and smooth now. The pacing is all over the place with this game. Yeah, Punished, that's kind of what I've seen. There's like a, there's a certain... There's a certain pace and grace with AAA releases I think that this game just doesn't have. Uh, a poise, maybe. So we'll see. Interesting. Let me open the friendly Windows game bar to see if there's any achievements based on difficulty. What? Why are you like that? Okay. I guess they'd probably be near the bottom, right? Hardcore mode. Huh, interesting. All right. Seems like there is a hardcore mode, but it's not unlocked. So.
Huh. This sounds cool, though, the way they describe it. Oh, yeah, it was very quippy. Yeah, the, the Marvel infection has spread. This game could be torture on difficult, a uh, high difficulty, though. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, and you know what? I'll have the gamer humility to lower the difficulty if I need to. I really love this place. All right. Vibes. The Cello May complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Ooh, that is a video game voice. Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Cello May City. They're just doing a little doing a little checking of the capture and stuff. Maybe that? First platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. It looks like, uh, it looks like V-Sync is not on. Huh. And only do V-Sync? Wait a minute. What if... We got us a mystery here. How do how do you reckon we turn on VSync? Uh, hmm. Maybe if I switch to that, it'll light up. Okay. Okay. Nope. Huh? Yes, the first challenge is unlocking V-Sync, a very basic image setting. Well, okay, I guess we just might have to deal with frame tearing. Actually, I think if you do windowed full screen and it like goes through whatever display that that does, usually that, Leading yeah, it doesn't allow for it. Nope, Soviet I still see a little bit. Well, whatever. Including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. It's been a while since I've played a game with a train opening. Or oh, you have to turn on VC via. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh, I and I file. Oh baby, we we PC gaming. I would love a soda. It's delicious, refreshing soda, please. Thank you. Mm, Doctor Breen's private reserve. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Get a load of these robots. Wow, what a beautiful day. What's up with your Vovas box entree? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? All right, if I hit a checkpoint, I actually think I will dive out and try to find an I and I file. These houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Do meme number. Get to work, you bums. This game is not an M sim though, is it? I guess it's kind of styled like that. This is a very Bioshock kind of intro. And certainly the uh Ooh. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechinov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. 
It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Names are so Russian. Yeah. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. German? Are your orders clear? Crystal Kelsey is ready. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. He yeah, it's pretty. It. It's colorful. I'm sure that this peaceful, idealistic world will soon be shattered by a seedy underbelly that's not at first present. <gasps> Perhaps that will provide subtle political commentary. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. Character models the look good. By the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Whoa. Okay, I guess if you. <laughs> you know, I used to hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited that, advice. That. <laughs> this is essentially how the internet treats AI right now. now that's something. It spits out paragraphs and paragraphs, and everybody's like, "Wow, okay, wow, that V-Sync is that that, that V-Sync is mean." Let's see. Okay, good. There's something there, so I'm gonna. Let me step away for just a moment and see if I can dig around and see if I can, uh... Can you- oh, can you play in the native language? I don't see anything like that. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can, uh... I also might be able to force it at the driver level. I- I never find that that works, but maybe it will. I'll just try that. I'll be right back. Okay. I just went with the drivers, because I know exactly where that is. Rather than, like, uh, I'm not even 100% sure where the folder structure is for Game Pass stuff. Because there, is, sometimes you can find them. They're not all packaged UWP. Um, they used to be. Yeah, you guys were learning about asthma. Don't worry. Asthma facts will be there. Like, there's an RTX logo, but there's no RTX in the game. I guess they it couldn't ship with it. Maybe we'll patch it in later. Asthma butt farts? Nice. Yeah, UWP was pretty painful. I remember trying to play ReCore. And, uh... I remember trying to play ReCore with a Steam Link. And the Steam Link was a pain in the ass because you could, like, stream Steam to your TV, but if you, like, tabbed out of Steam or anything like that, if it ever detected that you weren't doing things, something in Steam, it would drop the, like, frame rate to 10. There was no way to keep it, like, buttery Steam smooth if you weren't playing a Steam game. So I tried to trick it to play ReCore, and it just didn't work. Same with, like, Forza at the time. That was way back when Microsoft was just trying to be cool again. Well, that may have actually done it. Okay, cool. Wait, nope. Saw a little. Yeah, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more cyber hacking. I'll be right back. I promise I won't take too long with this. I'm just gonna take one quick look, see if I can find it. Take one look. I'll root around just a smidge. Actually, screw it. Let's let's go on an adventure together. I don't. Why do I have to leave? Uh, okay. Where would, let's see here. Let's see here. Is there a way to, see? I don't know if there's a way to see here. Oh. There we go. Okay. I 
Microsoft game dot config. Hold on. Uh, eh. Okay. I think that's just Microsoft store stuff. It's an engine binaries. Jesus Christ. All right, hold on. You need to put on some hacking music. Keeps looping that. What? There's no INIs in there. Damn it. Um, so it might be like something else. Command line that's you see? No. Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh man. Sick. Okay, well I found those. Oh. <laughs> Spoilers. Okay. <sighs> Save files. Oh, okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm not really. Uh, maybe. I just. Uh, maybe somebody's already posted about it. Video control panel. Uh, Rick's VR, G Sync works fine. Well, I tried that. I guess I'll just try on. But I feel like if it's tearing still, it doesn't doesn't help. I don't know. I've never had success with with enabling it at the driver level. All right. Well, whatever. Whatever. Let's get back in there. Gotta replace those clips with random media now. <laughs> Let's pull random drops from MediaTek. Oh, that one clip of that dude, that creepy like serial killer dude telling bad stand-up jokes. Control panel and restart computer. I mean, restarts fix have fixed more serious problems than that, so I guess it's just weird for me to imagine that a that a reboot would affect. Vsync. Maybe it's like it has to be full screen for the driver setting to kick in. Maybe. Maybe. Computer magic go bang. I love it when computer magic go bang. It's it's always a bit frustrating for a problem to be solved, but you never you don't know why. But sometimes that's just what you have to accept. Actually, that looks great. Okay, never mind. I take it back. That looks that looks good. Good to me. Chelome City is a bastion of science. I do love the light. One small device for the consumer. One giant leap for mankind. <laughs> wow. A little on the nose, huh? I do love games that have a just uncomfortably lean in button. Grab some tea. The TV show's done. You've got cookies? Hey, honey, don't shove. Greedy guts. Don't just stand there, comrade. You want to watch the speech too, right? We'll make room. Thanks, but I'm just passing through. Hair. 
and the weather is just perfect for the celebrations. You can't beat summertime. He's right. God bless him, he's right. Oh god, it's Needlebot. Free vaccinations for everyone. It's just a few days until the new collective comes out. Sailor or astronomer, with a thought device, you can train for any profession in no time. Okay. What is this expression? Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. Nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Nah, brah. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personal? I think I like this guy a lot. This very instant. I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Okay, sure. Why not? All right, then. Hey, load me up. I get a free headlight. Imagine never needing a flashlight ever again. This isn't weird at all. Well, that's what those those were. Okay. <laughs> Feels like my brain's in a microwave. Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Ooh. There's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. Yeah. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey, I love you, experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, a chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. Charles. Okay. I wonder why it was hyphen hyphenated. Harfinated. I love that this dude's P3, whatever, his personality is basically like. To eavesdrop on other people's conversations, comrade. You're one to talk. His whole attitude is basically like, Psh, whatever. I love that. Yeah, so rebellious. He's got a chip on his shoulder. He's edgy and cool in all the coolest and edgy ways. Oh, you gonna skip that rock there? Ho! Nice! Now oh, that's immersion, baby. You gonna give it another one? Whoo! Oh, a sinker there. He's really lobbing these. He needs to. Wait a minute. I lied. Maybe there is RTX. Yeah. That's not a screen space. They found a really cool way to fake that. I lied. I lied. I lied and I'm upset. I'm worried that uh, this may have permanently damaged the reputation of this game. Give yourself a thought or your life will come to naught. Sorry, I am. Good day, comrade. I lied and people got hurt. Closer. I'm here to help. And I can't deny that any longer. Like a thought device? It's high time you got one. I already tried one. It doesn't work on me. Why not just try one on? Okay. Um, okay. All right. There's got to be an achievement for doing it again, right? Erg. 
as if my brain is turning into tinfoil. <laughs> Thank you, Asian home slice. That is a kind message. That's odd. I can't. I appreciate that. I honestly feel a little dumpy, but uh, there's some sort of malfunction. I feel a little less dumpy now. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So no nice. thanks. I'm all set. Said the same thing again. I feel like I was about to understand, or I was maybe about to ask some specific lore. I like how they train the robots to bop a little bit to the, the jams that they're playing. <laughs> Everything's swell. Hey, Gecko. How's the game so far? Uh, I sat in a boat and now I've walked around a little bit, so I'm at the very beginning. Get ready for your group photo, comrades! Come on, guys. Don't be shy. There's room. Uh, can we get the Adam in the picture, and the too? And statue, as well. Uh, everything up to there should be in the picture. It'll look great. Here's an idea. I'm a lady from the future, and you're my soldiers. Man. Yeah, like this. Say cheese. Let's take another one. Any ideas? Yeah. You and Anatoly stand like the worker and the coal host woman. And you? I'll be the cosmonaut, so keep still. Say cheese. <laughs> Can I move now? Come on, let's see the picture. Come on, come on. Can you show us the photograph? Uh, I think I blinked. Let's see. Oh, no, I blinked. <laughs> Did you really have to make that <laughs> Let's face? do it one more time. But this time, make sure the atom's in the picture. Uh, let's just take the picture the way we are. Say cheese! There's a whole drama going on here. Barlum, thank you very much for the sub. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. And more than that, thank you for the 18 months of subs. Because that's a very long time. Thank you. Mm. Bring it in. And the weather is just perfect for the celebrations. You can't beat something. Is this Robo ice cream? Give me an ice cream. You you pull an ice cream out of that thing and you give it to me. Yes! Ice cream! Hmm. Yeah. A delicious cyber ice cream. That was pretty pretty well modeled ice cream too. will review all the thesis personally. No brain freeze whatsoever. In this bright and shining future, no one gets brain freeze. And everyone gets exactly one ice cream. More soda? Well, the wonders of science never cease. They've got robots dancing in the square. <laughs> Wowzers! Can I get more soda? No. My one soda interaction has been consumed. Same with the ice cream. If I go for another one, he's going to grab my throat with that ice cream clamp and squeeze my windpipe shut. Jamba Jamba Kitty Pampa. Hati Jamba Kitty Pampa? What? Sorry? See, what's, what's wrong with some simple immersion? What a nice folk dance. It's so lively. Just a nice little dance. 
residents and visitors of the Icarus platform are encouraged to make use of our mobile polymerization lab. Become part of the collective neural network today. The future awaits. One jab and you're done. And all these robots got dump trucks. Move, move, move. Dr. Sechenov's address will begin in 10 minutes. It's very Bioshock Infinite in this intro. The shining sun, the parade, everyone's happy, the like ticker tape. All the little skits playing around you. Assemble near the Brown Plague Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. I like those kinds of games though. I do. I definitely like... Like movie style hallway games with weird progression and Everyone mechanics and action and stuff. So happy and the Half Life template. Just like in China, um, Bioshock was a bit more open. I've been everywhere. System Shock more open than that. Everywhere hey, I'm even wearing China. my. Yes. Facility 38. Wearing my rep, but. All that far from our Chinese if you want to roll it all the way back to like. And. Uh, I hear it's nice there. Ultima Underground. Very open, like Dungeon Crawler, basically, but. I like the the blend in between. I like the first person scripted sequences. It's all there. I like the I like the parade. That a human craftsman could never have achieved this. <laughs> Not even now. Am I right, Alex? Terrific. Yes, but also perfect execution and impeccable technique. Gloomy. Hey, look, there is a chip on the beard. It's hidden, but it's there. Hmm. Right. Well, Ellie. Do you see a chip? Oh, like a baby. See? The devil is in the detail. Or in this case, the beard. You dismiss human genius, but it's the small imperfections that make it art. You think I'd look good with a goatee, Ellie? You're being... Ooh, Blind Observer has redeemed a trading card draw. Just imagine all the possibilities... As soon as I find my bag. All right. Up and running in there are some Let's step away from this fascinating crew. <laughs> Students doing a little art study. Made by a robot. And draw a real trading card. What do we got? What do we got? What is this? Ro robot man. <laughs> robot man. He's, this is it's kind of fitting. We're seeing a lot of robot people. Don't listen to him, Ellie. Here, let's let's learn some lore from Robot Man. No defects, none. Race car driver Cliff Steele nearly lost his life when his body was destroyed in a crash, but his brain was transplanted into a super strong robot body, enabling him to continue his existence as being called as the being called Robot Man, number one eighteen in the Great Hero series. The Great Heroes. It is a one out of one in that there is only one robot man. And this is the guy. Why is he? It's like he's straight up taking a photo for, it's like his fo football photo day. Like this one's going on the card, so take a knee. Anyway. Robot man. Whoa, ah, ah. You dismiss human genius. But it's the genius that make it art. You think I'd look good with the goatee, Ellie? You're being vulgar. I love hanging around until the whole show starts over. You're like a few different conversations happening at various volumes. It was made by a robot. Humans can't do quality work this fast. There's bound to be all sorts of mistakes. Right, Ellie? Ha ha! Get your head on straight, Vitaly. This is clearly the work of a human. Don't listen to him, Ellie. What? Look at the cast. Perfection. No defects. None. The thing's rock solid. Right, Ellie? Ghastly. Terrific. And the level of detail is also amazing. You can see everything. Every thread in the fabric, every pore, every crease and wrinkle, it's all there. I'm 100% positive that a human craftsman could never have achieved this. Not even now. Am I right, Ellie? Terrific! Yes, but also perfect execution and impeccable technique. Gloomy. Hey, look, there's a chip on the beard. 
Uh, how long have I been playing this? Psh, 20 minutes? 30 minutes? Your life will come to naught! Sorry, I there. I've been doing a lot of stopping and listening to all the... <laughs> like a fried dough ball? But why? It's a welder robot. If you ask silly questions, it'll fry your fanny. How rude! <laughs> Plus, robots can't fry anybody. It's against their programming to harm a human being. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, we need that lore. We need that. That's going to be important later. It's going to flap your fanny. It'll frimble your frumple. Citizens, collect your thoughts and connect your thought. Did he actually turn around? Because I was like standing in his way? Or did he just hit the end of his pattern? Hold on. Let's see what happens. Activate scrub mode. Oh, I just, he's going to move through me. Okay. I'm always kind of fascinated with how games like this that have NPC actors moving around handle collision with the player. It starts to test the, the asshole boundaries of like how much is the player going to play along and how much are they going to jump around like morons during cutscenes and squat in the corner and like kick a can. Meanwhile, you have a, an actor you paid $10,000 to reading lines and they're not paying any goddamn attention. Slow down, son. Slow down. He doesn't know that that's a robot. Comrade Sechenov develops the polymers, a scientific miracle that determines the future course of human civilization in the Soviet Union and abroad. Polymers. A pivotal moment in the history of science and technology. The greatest minds in the Soviet Union, all of them outstanding scientists, including comrades Vavilov, <laughs> Zakharov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Deb, Deb, Lebedev, Pavlov, Sechenov, Filomenenko, and Kelame join forces, forming a scientific group that lays the foundation for astonishing scientific and technological advancement in the USSR and beyond. They did it. They decided to science, and they scienced hard. In the war, comrade Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> he did it! Yeah, whatever. He did it! Yeah, who cares? I love it! Oh! <laughs> Comrade Sechenov and Filomenenko create the first Soviet polymer-based hydrogen cell. From this moment on, the future of Soviet robotics takes on global importance. Oh, it doesn't now. Hey, what was this? Oh, Richard's team, yeah. The Brown Plague. <clears throat> Realizing that its fall is inevitable, the Third Reich strikes a terrible, shameful, inhuman blow against all mankind. The enemy unleashes a deadly virus called the Brown Plague into the world. The disease kills with incredible speed. There is no sal salvation from the monstrous pandemic. And existing drugs are powerless against it. Wait. That's no good. You're doing a bang up job there. Sal. Creation of Facility 3826. A worldwide state sponsored program of industrial and economic development is launched in the Soviet Union. The pride of Soviet science is created. Facility 3826, the apex of scientific progress, and the home of the greatest scientists in the world. Hey, what's up, Charlie? Or is that Charlie? I think it might be. Collective 1.0. Huh. The Collective 1.0 neural network was successfully launched at Facility 3826. The world's first global network. It brings together all of mankind's greatest achievements. They invented the internet in 1948. Wait, 
It says 46 here. Well, which lore am I to believe? You got a, you got any feelings about this? The facility is doing our country a great service. It's what if I whomped at you? Oh, all of this makes me sad. I say this is a historic spot. A nation should know its path. Yeah. Strong opinion. The youth should should care more. Ah. Back to health. Oh, you were a sturdy young man. I was just the village herbalist. I was herbalist. Just the only wolf, my little sorceress. Look. Wow. That was the year you gave me a whole basket of lilacs. Now, now. This isn't a memorial to the two of us, you know. Yep, we're scientists now. So it is a memorial to us. I'm so happy. Wow. Wow. Making it about you, Karen. Karnov. Oh, come on. You won't let me run up the thing. Oh, who's this guy? Leaning and thinking. He's got... Oh, that's a brood. He's got a real solid brood going. Okay, I won't mess with that. First man spaceflight, 51. An unbelievable scientific breakthrough for the Soviet Union. Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin is the first man to fly to space. Neat. What happens when you have the internet? Citizens, collect your thoughts. The launch of Collective 2.0 is now at hand. The result of many years hard work. Who are you telling this to? Soviet scientists should be proud of this glorious achievement. Yeah. This dude's just like, man, he said this so much. <laughs> the internet, too, is the best thing that's ever been made, ever. I've got a question. Yes, comrade, how may I help? Oh, wow, look at all this. Well, what can you tell me about space? I think I might like the dialogue in this game a lot. That's a question. We could talk about it endlessly and still get nowhere. <laughs> wow, space. Thing is certain, though. Wow. The question, how should we live here on Earth, can only be answered out there. Ah. Uh. So, what do you think? Is mankind ready to leave its home? A philosophical question, but if you're asking about technology, we'll have it in a couple of years. But whether we're truly ready for it, every person has to make up their own mind. Yeah. G4. And this guy's really avoiding getting pinned down on anything. Got to sleep candles? All right, sleep well, recover. Get ready to ta tackle tomorrow with vim and vigor. I've not been assaulted by the Robussy twins yet. Not yet. So do you believe in aliens? <laughs> if I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon we will fly to the stars and become aliens to other races. Huh. That was a good line. I never thought about it that way before. Thanks. That's a funny way to use a Belyash. Yeah, I was surprised too. Apparently, the MA9 can use its polymer emitter to form an image-producing grid. In effect, this robot now doubles as a high-resolution video camera and projector. No thanks, I'm good. Fuck me, I just talked to that guy for 10 minutes and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. <laughs> Too hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. Space expert, my left. Right I hope you can exhibit the same professionalism you expect from those universe. around you. That the goes double for you. Rightfully call our home. <laughs> See this fucking guy, like right to his face. Am I like muttering to my glove? That seems like it's the idea. Like nobody else can hear me talking to the glove. 
Juice is a nutritious formula for long space journeys. A programmable taste sensation in a jar. Okay. Alright. We got new internet. We got juice. There's only one chirper between Petropavlovsk, Kamatsky, and Leningrad. Okay. Hello. Oh. Major Nachayev reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Yeah, whatever. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's got slow walk. education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. It's a pretty nice setup for just like, uh, Explaining upgrades. Just smash it into my eye. I'm gonna give it to my uh, Vampire Hunter D hand. How far into the game am I? This is still the very beginning. It hasn't even started yet. Hmm. Lurpy. Yeah, I morbed out a little bit there, didn't I? Your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? What? Does that... What? Huh? What is that? What is that? What does that mean? Did the Spanish Inquisition talk a lot? Is the... There kind of hasn't been like, <sighs> this reminds me, there was like an archetype of just like the snarky, fast talking wise guy. Uh, there hasn't been one of those in a while. All right. Demon, be gone. Whoa, what the f For your information, that's, uh, that's a user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just Always a zinger! Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. All of some of what he's having. Capable of seeing Boy -o -o this ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. I uh, I really want my dude to keep talking. We need more video game idiots. Chai uh, was delightful. God bless him. That stupid moron. Uh, this guy is just like kind of a video game douche. I'm down with that too. I kind of liked like uh, Watch Dogs Aiden Pierce was just a prick. Like he was just a, a real fucker of a dude. But it was kind of fun playing as him. Kind of fun seeing cutscenes as him.
Oh yeah, Ethan from Resident Evil. Yeah. God, he's great just because he gets beaten up all the time. Just pathetic Ethan. Always getting chopped up. Comrades, the address by the It's like he knows he's the main character, so he can get away with being an asshole to everyone. About to begin. I kind of like characters that make themselves laugh, you know? Almost reminds me of the the vision of Lo Wang from the uh, Shadow Warrior reboots. Three is supposed to get a, uh, a re-release soon. I think it's coming out on Game Pass too, so hopefully a lot of people play it. I'll probably be one of them playing it when it when it hits Game Pass. No, I'm not no one wants to talk. I feel like P3 loves to watch whatever passes as this world's Fox News. Oh, I don't think he gives two fucks about politics. He watches UFC. He might watch, like, a news program if he's walking past and there's, like, clips of people fighting or, like, rioting or something. He might stop and, like, watch. Finally, we will be free to forget Report the to the lobby of that high of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3820... Please tell me I left those windows open. Uh... I don't think it's this. No, that's... Huh. TV clips? Hologram? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe that's it? Six. I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals. Yeah, you could just like find blue screen footage, hopefully, and drop it in there. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Automod is losing its mind. <laughs> Accessing all human knowledge, and of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You Gotta keep telling Automod that it's fine. Control panels, cumbersome communications. You could put the dancing Jar Jar in there. Electronic notebooks, etc. Good. Thought will replace. Everything. That would that would take some uh some editing though. And so much more. Your potential. <sighs> Still need to, to extract dancing Jar Jar as an emote. I might do that tomorrow. I think I'll have time tomorrow. To see you're taking it easy, comrade. The, the car is waiting. All will be you must go to Doctor Sechenov's office for the access code. Is installed left right here on your bodyguards. Yeah, not All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization. Where you will also receive it's a money-making emote right there. We'll see. I kind of, I kind of waiting for inspiration to strike. I love this place. And that's pretty inspired. No how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. That's weirdly insightful and not antagonistic. So he actually does have things he likes. Yeah, he admitted to liking something. I'm a little disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was just gonna be a non-stop shit talker. Oh. Only two days away. Get your thought device today. 
and become Homo Futurum among the first. The future is already yours. Okay, well now the RTX is shut off. So maybe they just had like customized fake reflections for that intro. Yeah, ray tracing deactivated. You're going to put me in like a glass elevator tube and not give me a cool view? There is no RTX. We've been rused. Rused and duped. has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electron. Are we talking about mounting? That never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. What did they... Einstein, what would I ever do without you? It gave the robots, like, cloth ripples. In their robo-suits. Uh... You ladies are just gonna gyrate and twitch? Look at their feet. Okay. Oh, they're, like, on point all the time? I guess that's why they're moving around. That's awesome. That jacket though, God, that's cool. Ugh. Ugh, so good. Anyway, bye. <laughs> Glad we got to meet each other. Well, uh... Off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. <laughs> Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. All right. You think we might be getting manipulated? I can't see why. He had such nice things to say. Okay, I wonder if I wonder if the budget is about to turn off for this game. So they went a little overboard with all the like sketches and NPC interactions and stuff. But it's still an We got one more though. Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress though. They're turning out new models daily now. This one's a gas guzzler. Wait until they're all running on electricity. That'll be something. Got that right. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the dialogue in Final Fantasy VII Remake. There's like a goofy earnestness to like JRPG dialogue and specifically that. The way that people just kind of like walk around in tight circles and talk to each other and talk about weird stuff. Look up. Oh. What you wanted me to see?
Huh. Hoo. Man, that feels good. Hoo ha ha. Hoo ha. Let's look up. All right. All right. Do you mean in real life? Look up. Do you want to see my? Do you want to see my neck? Is that it? Do you think I have some kind of cyber implant on my neck that helps me Please play video games, and that's why you want me to? Seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Oh. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? He says, the entire immediately finding the radio. Is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from one. I get it. Shut up, nerd. Yeah. Concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic oh, workers from that. the We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage. Told you. Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyok. How about some music? Yeah, he's trying to find some fucking Van Halen. That's more like it. Oh, we get a little prey intro sequence. cool yeah we need a title card at the end of this like it could just it could just bang on screen and that would be cool i see you finally begun your assignment and it's been less than an hour they are good what did you just i said the signals on the fritz but thanks anyway herr stockhausen dr sechenov already filled me in Don't you think that I mean that's kind of like extra cockwaddy considering that the Nazis like unleashed a uh, super black plague. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechinov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding At least he a said it. strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding <laughs> Important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when this fucking guy six was brand new. As we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough. But why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. It was a baffling conversation. So unnecessary. I don't care. I want there to be more dialogue. All of the talking so far has been superb. Superbly entertaining. I don't know that I'd, it's not objectively superb. Oh, here we go. Here comes that title card. Got a nice little loading cloud. You were the first to say that. Hey, I'm entertained right now. This is facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Oh yeah, Mick Estimated Gordon did the music for this. Arrival is 11:47 a.m. Outside temperature 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic... There's another train sequence. Maglev rail. This technology was... I mean this car, not that train. Department ...and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, 
A plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. <sighs> Looks well done. I mean, it's easy to make a game well done when the player can't even really look around. Uh, so we'll see what happens when I get on my feet. Directly below and start shooting Dr. things. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for Well, maybe not easy, though. but easier. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. <laughs> you landing credits roll. Maglev train stations connect. If like facility 3826. I would actually be super down for that if it was just something on Game Pass. With comfort and ease. I wouldn't mind like a a dumb dirt basic cinematic glitz and explosions dumb dialogue to mark the Soviet Union's victory. Political action thriller whatever. Like a two to three hour game? Just. That would be so cool. Just download it, play through it in an evening, and forget about it forever. I guess that's kind of what I did with As Dusk Falls. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1950. Yeah, a short story game. Collective 1.0 neural network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Or just like even interactive fiction kind of things. Coming to an end. Facility 38 doesn't even like it can be minimally interactive. Specialist from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary. Oh yeah, I picked hard. I forgot about that. Scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people be rad in VR. That'd be pretty cool. Major, the drove is initiating combat. Some kind of VR subscription plan where you just get these like What am I supposed to do about it? Oh. Software packages every couple of weeks where you just have like a crazy roller coaster ride. Hard is in fact very hard. Can you turn the difficulty down? Or is it is it not enjoyably difficult? That's what I worry about. And I'm just going to be hiding in corners the entire I will escort you to the, the entire game. Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? Yes, yes, yes. It's a bit mistimed. Uh, but okay. It's still a title card. It wasn't a smash cut either, which is odd. It was kind of like a dip to black and then fade in. Should have been smash cut with like glitch effects and shit. That's the most 2010s thing ever. But no, we're in a new era now. The era of Atomic Heart. Yeah, using the... Incredible Photoshop title. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the logo. Atomic Heart logo. They found the high resolution one on Google Image Search. I guess we haven't seen him before. P3, he's just a freaking guy. Just a snarky little dude. Is it me? It might be me. His hair is like in rows almost? Oh shit, my head's killing me. Ugh.
John Atomic Heart. Ugh, time to be a video game character. Psh, whatever. Was that... Did that... Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? Wizard? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on... What makes you say that? A while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central oh. and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that. Uh -huh. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. What the heck? It's just like a big chunk of ice like floating in the air? Oh, I can swim into it. Oh, it's polymer. You're out of line. Huh? That's cool. There's just like midair glorp that you can swim through. Cool. Hyperdimensional. <laughs> it's it's hypercum. Yeah, the universe jizzes sometimes. It's not subject to gravity. You can dive right into it. It tastes like a Rice Krispies treat. It's the weirdest thing. Izzy Ease. Thank you for the sub. Come to Hypercom. Hello, Piggy. Can I give you a little Piggy Pat? Slap you on the belly a little bit? No, we're not going to do that. I'm not going to hit you with my axe. Don't worry. You're a big, you're a big fucker. I like that. Yeah, balls. Now we got a video game. The freaking the main character is an asshole and the pig's got big old balls. <laughs> Damn it, you're right, crap phone. Hold on a minute. One minute. I've got balls of steel. Here we go. I was thinking there's some <clears throat> excuse me, there's some Duke Nukem energy. A little bit in P3. It's not as refined. P3 has yet to settle into his lifestyle. He needs some beers to chill out. Oh, is there a dash? Okay, there is a dash. Oh! Oh! That is a little reminiscent of some of the earlier melee combat in, like, System Shock. Aish. Or wrench stuff in Bioshock. Okay, you can't tentacle slurp everything. Fuck you, robot. After finishing Hi-Fi Rush, this will be hard to play. Yeah, we'll see where the combat goes. I don't know if it's gonna all be like chunky, slow resource management combat. Like, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo was kind of like that. It was like more survival horror pace. Not necessarily like run and gun and hyper action. Which was cool. It took a while to get used to it. Or to understand that that's kind of the energy. But I liked it. That's so interesting. Ah, oh, the Glorps. Wait, yeah. Is there fall damage? Oh, I can't go in. Can I not penetrate this Glorp? Oh. 
I see. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta be able to, right? Hey, hey! What's hurting me? Are the flowers bad? Huh. I guess I'm not allowed to get into the red glorp. I guess that makes sense. It is red after all. What is that? Oh. Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Scott, you got to be able to break that, right? Hit. Hit. Huh. I'm already, I'm already pretty messed up. Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Hello, cow. Damn it. I want to smack these cows. Just give them a good pat. Somebody help me. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a wise cracking robot guy. He's taking a robo shit. Somebody help me. Oh, God. I can tell from his voice. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Yeah, claptrap acquired. Nope. Shit. Uh, get away from me. Nice. It was a trap. Uh, go fuck yourself. While staring at the shit, he says, "Shit." Get the fuck off me. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Awesome. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. <laughs> what are you doing here? She's not going to make it out of this cutscene, is she? Through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. It's camera. Really well, use a weapon. Not stay got still. Anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Oh, charged it cloud. I think I may have missed calling it yourself. A weapon, go down there. The oh, Roberto, you're right here? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Definitely gonna stay alive forever. Shit! It's a chilla. Son of a bitch! We've got thirty seconds. Move your ass. Thirty seconds until what? Uh, How does she know all this? Until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. This is the first time any of this has happened, right? No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, now. She called it beefcake. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. She could have done that way faster. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. All right, Granny Xena. Uh, shit. You're just watching all this happen, huh, buddy? Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. I hey, Rad Raven. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Holy shit! Of course. Okay. Got knocked back into an elevator. I don't know about Xena, you guys. No on-screen death. Yeah, she might come back later with like a metal plate in her face. That'd be cool. If she had like a laser eye. Or just like a really cool facial scar. And maybe like a, a, a cyber hand.
Fuck yeah. What a goddamn clusterfuck. That is so sick, dude. I love this dude. All right, P3. P3 is a pretty top tier video game douchebag. <laughs> That's great, man. Just give one puff. Tear. He only lit it just so he could throw it away in disgust. That, cause yeah, he's all about the image. I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. I'm curious if you can. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, great. So you can siphon items off of like. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Like big Chandler energy. When sarcasm was confused for actually being funny. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started. And that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Okay. Uh, okay, so I have to liberate a political prisoner? Alright. Oh, we got mantling? Oh! Oh yeah, the Rogue Warrior guy? Oh man. I gotta play through Rogue Warrior. I did once before. I played through it for achievements. Oh yeah, low or uh, audio logs this or something. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Katerina Vishnaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in. Hey, who's there? They found me. Stay away. I've got a grenade. Hey, lady. This is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Hey, Ornery Kudu, what's up? Oh, there's a weird audio imbalance in your YouTube videos where it plays way louder on the left. I realized today it was because my right ear is just clogged from COVID, ripped my hearing. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, I was actually about to just start troubleshooting mentally what could cause that. But, uh, sorry you had to find out that way. Yeah, I remember reading, or I remember seeing a post that was like, you can tell COVID's getting bad when the reviews for scented candles go down. Because people get them, and they try to, like, light them, and they're like, doesn't smell like anything. Then they go and leave a negative review on Amazon. really like this is now like very similar to half-life and you're like an underground lab <clears throat> and like scripted sequences and shit oh man i hope it keeps this energy like i don't know if the whole game takes place in this lab but that might be that might be the raddest thing if it does <laughs> you waited too long <laughs> yeah and the valve puzzle good point oh break oh manual save minigame so there's like a, this is, is this a survival horror game? Huh. Saving data. All right. I thought it was a boomer shooter. Maybe it's, oh, that's cool. So far, this game, the brashness and kind of awkwardness of this game reminds me of Evil Within. Enemies can perform power attacks to knock down P3 if they hit. When the enemy is charging a power attack, Charles will indicate the best moment to dodge it. Upon seeing the red highlight, press shift to dodge. All right. Yeah, she's... May I give you some advice? I do like that animation. Yeah, what is your advice, Charles? Okay, how much health is it gonna spawn? Oh, it did not fill up my health. Uh, and the 
machines rose from the ashes. <laughs> Got me. No map. Yeah, so this the the melee combat actually feels pretty good so far. I've only just started messing with it, but the speed of it is pretty good. I've been wanting something like condemned. And the machines rose from ashes. All right. some advice i'm kind of busy right now try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks they're all powerful attacks performed by a robot during well okay ah are especially it's just a and may knock you a hoovering ability shingle why didn't you tell me that before shit on a shingle oh i have a gun when did i get that it wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. No. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shoot. Can't play it back because my glove is talking to me too much. To their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? Hey, Jaso. Sci-fi times or something. Ah, from an fellow ex Dallasite. Hello. This game on my wish list. How is the gameplay? I know a little of the story. Uh, gameplay is cool so far. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how it's going to play. I am playing on the like hardest difficulty, which might make the experience a bit de or a bit different. Damn it! it doesn't keep playing in the game. Tragic. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document yes, this doesn't everything work. and- You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade- uh, Oh, there. She's got an audio log. No authorization. There's no way she's dead. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Hey, Steph. A tough old bird indeed. How do you know when you slurped everything? And this is unslurpable. Oh. That's pretty satisfying, I guess. A lot of slurp and a lot of suck. I guess it really depends how how many drawer why is this one in particular not opening it's the only one egg but i guess it really depends how much of that there is how much do these environments revolve around slurping a bunch of bits out of drawers and cabinets oh that's look that looks like a cool room though Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, 
how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. <sighs> uh, thank you for the raid, Larry. Hello. Hello and welcome, everyone. Picking away at the beginning of uh, Atomic Heart. This game looked pretty cool. I'm settling into its its rhythm, which has slowed a bit down. It does seem like it is trying to be Bioshocky, where it wants to kind of be a slow-paced M-Sim at the beginning. I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to get there. But I guess we'll see. But yeah, thank you for the raid. <clears throat> what were y'all up to over there tonight? Be kinder. I would like to remind our comrades in the security department that the days of Comrade Stalin's purges are over. Yes, the people carrying out their sentences at Vavilov have committed various crimes, but they're still human beings, and they're still our comrades. How we treat them here will determine whether or not they learn a lesson from their punishment and recognize the error of their ways. However, I've heard a lot of complaints about prisoners being treated poorly. Let me remind you, this is neither a penal colony nor a prison. Be kinder, my friends. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, like a whole employee list, kind of like Prey. Uh, Destiny 2, yeah, I've been putting a lot of time in there this week. I'm trying to do all the seasonal stuff before it goes away. I got to like one of the first exotic quests in this season, and it was super, super fun. They're getting really good at how to reuse content. And make it seem fresh. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Stealth attacks? Yeah, we got we got a big axe, we got stealth. We got lootables. I'm gonna guess this is for like upgrading guns. Oh, <laughs> that's the guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. You got to hit that pretty hard, actually. Oh, hey there, buddy. I didn't probe hard enough. A rare, a rare lack of probing. Wait, was there a tutorial? Oh, you mean just in the sense that that dude refused to aggro in any other way? Last night, lab assistants, uh, Skopensev and, uh, Lepyoshkin taped a photograph of comrades Sechenov to a Vova and allowed it to wander around in the halls in this state. Janitor Nefedova passed out when this Vova looked at her through a window. Give them an unofficial un reprimand. You aren't so sure what's slurpable. You can hold alt and it'll glow blue. Okay. I don't want to get too robotic with it. Uh, just like constantly scanning and playing the game by color, but sometimes it can get that way. <sighs> All employees of Facility 3826, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization on June 10th, 1955. Make sure everyone signs the protocol after the procedure. That is nice, yeah. I guess after you slurp a room, you can do this again to see if you missed any slurpables.
Does that highlight enemies? Ah! Just jogging on out. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, 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 wait. Wah! <laughs> Jesus. I like the combat music. Man, they don't give any shits though. Oh, do we got a lock picking minigame? Awesome. All that lock picks. Awesome. That'll be a good lock picking mini game. Telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union. Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. We can't have that, can we? Ooh, chess club. To hashtag staff. Please note that as of June 1st, 1955, the employee break rooms will be used by the chess club according to their capacity. Our best players happen to be from the security department and given that the dilettantes from the VDNH team lost during the qualifying round, our strategists have the right to spend every free minute honing their skills. We've got a match against the lab assistants from Pavlov coming up, and those guys know their stuff. P.S. The prize will be 18 boxes of candy for my private stash. Don't ask where I got them. All right. I want to follow this chess club drama. Ooh, that's a dank vent. So incredibly dank. Oh. Dead bodies packed into ventilation ducts. You like it so far? I like it so far. It's going through like... It's going through pretty explicit Bioshock beats, which is not a bad thing. I thought it was weird that there weren't more bio Bioshocks out there. For me, this game always reminded me of Singularity. And it feels like it's very close to that still. Uh, we'll see how it how it bears out with the uh, like combat systems and stuff. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. Damn it, why is everything locked here? The agency mode was activated as soon as the robots began. To Cut it off. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electro- Hey, Docs360, thank you very much for the sub. With an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Make Telling me I got to get an upgrade? Oh. We've locked the magnetic door. To Picked up the lore right away. I How convenient. Know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan. Hey, Docs, thanks for gifting 10 oh, subs. Oh. Ivan! Ivan! Here, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play a little 808 track for you. Thank you very much. 
I didn't write that. <laughs> that was one that came preloaded. The hearts on the doors? Ah! Of course. Hey! Oh, when did I stop doing sub music? Oh my gosh, years ago. When I started doing it a little more regularly, uh, it, like, I still like doing it, but the sub traffic actually got to the point where it was pretty disruptive to the streams, just stopping down all the time. Yeah. My dearest V. It's got too too rich. To keep leaving Victim of my own success. This Wait, V? One. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. That is a dead person, like big time dead. Damn, you don't get more dead than that. Oh, not VL. Why? My brain's going weird. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Songbird. Oh yeah, mechano worm. I remember you. Techno worm. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great. What happened to the pretty Utopia? Okay. The robots were hacked. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great. Now get up. Although not hacked. <sighs> Somebody on the inside turned them into angry mode. Who? And then they? all this happened. They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on Get it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? Yeah, they set them all to evil. You don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You what? got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! So wait, what? Why did I absorb the pill? How would that help the dude? Maybe that wasn't the point. So little damage. It wasn't shells, was it? It was. Larissa crawled into go. It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a lot. Just shouted his own one-liner. Fine, I can deal with it later. Dude, fucking rocks. Terminated. You should have lit a cigarette and flicked it after like one puff. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your finger. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even get through the fucking dialogue about it. Whatever. 
I did it. Let me through. Okay. No stutter really docks. Yeah, it had had some cash or uh, yeah, it had some shader caching going on at the top menu, but that was it. It's been pretty buttery apart from that. I did have a problem that you can't the menu option to turn on V-Sync is like grayed out. You can't do it. It's there. It's just turned off and grayed out, so I found a setting at the driver level that seems to have worked. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles What's on the other side of the He refuses to call him Charles. She's very dangerous. Charles. Yeah, Deonix, I'm kind of on board with what a what an eye rolling prick wad P3 is so far. Hmm. Saving data. Why am I liking this guy not forsaken girl? I don't know. She's she wasn't as like husky as this dude, but also I don't know. People react very negatively to women being like aggressive. I'm not. Don't let her bind your arms. Yeah, let me just stop that from happening. Suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick. How titillating, rebellious dog. Sensor manipulator. Turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I have to avatar this fridge. Strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, <laughs> sugar. Anything from my master? What can I do for you? Hello. More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. I have to buy my upgrades from the horny sexual assault fridge? Mm. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? Glove can produce electromagnetic discharge that targets enemies and deals electricity damage. Robotic targets are especially vulnerable to electricity. Great! You even got your little, like, vault boy animation going on over there. Crafting! Now we're talking. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. To do this, provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. Insert your axe. I'll give you the time of your life. You're sick, you know that. Deeper? Again? Oh, yes, honey, more! More! Yes! Oh, we're stopping short? We're not going all the way, huh? We're not gonna make the fridge come? No fridge come upgrades? Cup, cup, come gub bug upgrades? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Roundhouse blow? Ooh. It officially went too far, like one sentence into this whole thing. I'm glad it did. I do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. I like gratuity. Why not go all the way? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. 
because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky, although some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with the lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. <sighs> All right. Horny fridge. Got it. Saving data. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Bye, horny fridge. See you later. I love it. What's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOVA6 Restraint is stupid. I applaud this game for not having any of it. They go wherever they want and just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? Now I gotta do this. But they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Oh, Docs, thank you very much for uh, gifting another sub to Sixon. <laughs> I played Circus of Value by a mile. Kind of did, didn't it? Never wanted to. Never been sexually assaulted by the vendor before. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers. Fucking the fuck. And let me guess, you can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're Charles. Starting to come in handy. <laughs> Good prick. Oh yeah, in the lower right. What is that all about? I don't know. Oh, the big time twirl. He laughed at his own dumb pun. Hell yeah, he did. I'm telling you, characters that make themselves laugh. But take care. There's a dandelion. Ah, oh, there's got cameras. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take oh, I just got the shock power. It's got to be that. And knock it out with an EMP. Yeah, knock it out with an EMP. Of course you shoot the frickin' uh... You shoot the cameras with shock power. Uh, I gotta remember what the buttons are. Secondary attack, aim, shock is V, all right. Ah, oh, Akia. Yeah, good time for a gamer stretch. I agree. Let's get a gamer stretch going. I actually did the ham or the calf stretch before. I think I'm going to uh I'm gonna pop a little deep squat. And uh, stretch out the old the old goodies. Really air them out. And really get down in there. Uh numpad eight? No, I'm gonna hit Okay, that didn't do anything. What does numpad eight do? Nothing. Bottom right is your mana? Yeah, maybe. But I didn't do anything. So yeah, I'm gonna, all right. Yes, open the hips so that fridge can get up in there. I'm gonna do it over here. I don't feel like treating you all to groin cam tonight. You'll just have to imagine. You'll have to imagine package cam dipping low. I'm talking low and open. Open it up. Relax. <sighs> just let it flow out. Let it all flow. Okay, oh boy. Everything aired out. Everything opened up. Everything is circulated. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Wait, did it, like, checkpoint me? Huh. What's your verdict so far? I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying myself so far. I appreciate the game's really wacky attitude. It's got a lot of... It's got a lot of... I mean, attitude is... It's just the word. Back when having attitude used to be considered a, like a good thing all the way into itself. You knew how to avoid the camera. I don't. Expected more subtlety from a professional such as yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those times. I keep saying it. There. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, I was just a little bit too slow zapping that camera before. Sometimes you just need to go and blaze it. Guns blazing. This is one of those times. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. Charles. What happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are. Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Wait, why do we care? We shouldn't care. Not about making money. Ooh. Emag Denim. Thank you very much for the sub. No smoking. I'd like to bring your attention to the fact that all the programs for cultivating harmless new varieties of tobacco are to be put on hold. Officially, this is the country's way of dealing with the problem of smoking. Unofficially. After Stalin's death, the decision was made at the highest levels to completely disassociate the government from smoking and tobacco use. I understand your frustration, especially since alcohol, which is much more unhealthy and dangerous than tobacco, is still being manufactured, but there's nothing I can do about it. An accident report. An unfortunate accident has occurred in the germination workshop. The plant grabbed a gratitude student, or graduate student named A, or A. Nayalova, sorry. The plant grabbed a graduate student named A. Nayalova, who was training there at the time. The young woman is rescued, but her condition is considered extremely critical. The entire her entire body is covered in burns, and she is in a state of anaphylactic shock. She remains unconscious. The victim has been sent to the complex's infirmary and must be transported to the hospital at Vavilov, Vavilov Complex. All witnesses to the incident have signed non-disclosure agreements. Oh. In order to transport the victim A. Nayalova, we will need four people from the lab staff who have experience working with poisonous plants. Provide them with hazmat suits, request a special special vehicle with the necessary equipment from Pavlov. Send A. Nayalova to the hospital in Pavlov for treatment. Those big Russian vapes. I guess I didn't go over here. Is there a door over here? There was a door over here. Okay, I can pick stuff up now. Does that apply to like every physics object? Hmm. Is this is where I came from? No. There are unsuckled drawers. No, this is definitely where I came from. Despite the unsuckled drawer. You. Oh, you can't break him. All right. You don't like the word suckle? Why? What's weird about that? Hey, 
say Monday begins on Saturday, but I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th, and our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand not a bonus. Have a great weekend. Aha! You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Fucking Ganem. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can. I don't think I can drop down. Wait. No, I can. Yeah, it's just the stairs. I think this is a shortcut back to the room. This game any fun so far? I, I'm having a really good time. But it's it's campy. It's dumb. It's absurd. It's ridiculous so far. Let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? It's bantery. Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. It's aggressively bantery. Yes, yum. Hey, Steppy. Thanks for gifting a sub. Appreciate that. The lobster man. Mmm. I could go for some lobster. Comrade Vishnevskaya. Regarding your question about the functionality of the beam decoder, this bulky system is a passive security device. Yes, as you correctly remarked, any child could operate it. But while this child of yours is entering combinations, a signal is sent to the security panel, and the guard on duty can stop any unauthorized actions. Whereas in an emergency, it can be operated by an untrained employee. Also due to software limitations, robots cannot control the beam decoder, which reduces the chance of error in the event of a robot malfunction. Does that answer your question? All right. Ekaterina, congratulations on your promotion to the position of programmer and planner for Vavilov Complex. I and the entire management staff are thrilled by your resume and recommendations. I apologize in advance for the somewhat less than ideal workspace. The previous employee was quite slovenly, which led to a demotion. I'm sure a woman's touch will do wonders for the office. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me, Katerina. Best wishes, Vavilov. Hmm. It had, a, it had a weird flavor about it. Weird smell on that email. A little musty, a little musky. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was going to stand here until it turns off on its own. <laughs> okay. We got some puzzles. Put the magnetic fluxes in the correct order. Okay. Plus, 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 minus, 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 plus. So if it's the same as plus, if it's different, it's minus. So it's like exclusive or, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay. How do you know if it's a minus or a plus? You just have to guess? Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Oh, I see. I don't know, I could change those. Yeah, the power's on. <laughs> Let's head back. Why did they show me the... Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. 
You're doing a great job, Atomic Heart. You keep at it. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I want to hear how smug my dude is. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Such a fucking prick. God. Hey, Chaz. Charles. <laughs> yeah. So, how'd Petrov get away? There are more soldiers here than civilians. Some people believe that Petrov had help. So he's not alone. <laughs> Immediately starts talking to him again. Oh my God. That information is not yet available. We only have speculation, not facts. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Man. Get off my grill, dog. Just trying to give me handy video game hints. Charles is like Twitch chat, and I am like P3. They're just out there trying to help out, just trying to be like, hey, you may, hey, you want to know about this? And I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm going to ban you. I will ban you now. You're banned. Then I laugh. I laugh every time, except for the times when it hurts me, and, and I should deserve a lot of sympathy for that. Ah, cabinet unslurped. All right. Woo. What? What? I accidentally fired myself into the, into the TV. The door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Freaking deaf. Can you like shock them and then run up on them? Cody, are we liking this so far? I'm having a pretty good time. I can't deny that I'm enjoying it. So far, I don't know. The reviews have been all over the map, so kind of, kind of expect that maybe it'll get too repetitive or slow or something. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. I've yet to successfully stealth kill anything. Shit. That might actually bonk me back quite a ways. We'll see. Also like how the continue just says get revenge. <clears throat> when they start charging at you, man, you gotta get ready to sidestep. Oh, it's just in this room. Okay. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, hard might make stealth more difficult. He did see me. That 
was cool. You like that clean decapitation. Yeah. Maybe if like if I get them from far enough away, I can zap them, it'll like stun them, and then I can run up and try to hack their spines. Use the shotgun. I have shells, right? Yeah. How many fans have a chance to shake your hand? Hmm. Um. I guess if you run into me at an event, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to a tiki convention in Arizona. In a couple of weeks. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. Ooh. Love me a cable car. Oh my gosh. We have to do some, like, platforming? <laughs> Dodging these little guys flying around? I love it. Oh, this is from the trailer? I only saw like I only saw one of the trailers. Can I draw some of your blood so I can make a killer ass gamer clone to teach me the arts of gaming? You can if you want to get sued. Watch it, Calhoun. I will. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. Thank you very much for the cheer, Mr. Sark. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. I'm about to dive into this glorp splork. Yeah, thank you very much. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. Great to see a friendly name. We need to hang out more. I, I caught a little bit of your stream when you were playing Alien vs. Predator. I've always wanted to play through those games. This game definitely has some, like, like golden era, late 90s PC shooter energy. Ah, here we go. Okay, here's the hologram videos. Here's here's these guys. There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> so yeah, I could probably swap out one of those. Blue screen and a little Jar Jar Binks, maybe. There's the control panel, and of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one, a combination lock. Ah, uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Well, that's a very handy suggestion. Thank you. Uh, what was that? Yeah, what was that? Oh, and thanks for gifting the sub, Mr. Sark. Appreciate that. To Mr. Hammerbush. Oh wait, I just came from here. Oh yeah, I have to visit Nora. There she is. Oh boy. Steal yourselves, gentlemen. Please select the desired procedure. Wait, what do polymers do? Oh, these are the abilities? Yeah. Okay, this is this is the good stuff. What about the uh Authorization. Guns. Major needs. A babe robot? Yeah, babe fridge. Oh. Energy recovery per strike? That's a special attack.
Wait, what? Cartridge module? Unlocks a cartridge slot. The application of a thin layer of special chemical polymer to the weapon's blade, giving it additional properties when it comes into contact with the enemy. Huh. Oh, so you can, like, load ammo into your axe. Hold on, I gotta reload my axe. Damage. That's what I want. Oh, I can get it. Yes. Increases charge damage. Right? Remove an upgrade. Wait, what? Would I be removing the round attack for the powerful chopping blow? I think that's. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh. So you get health back for using melee. That's kind of cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I still don't know what the, <laughs> that meter's for. Fading data. All right, all right, it's almost midnight. I gotta hang it up, I think. You craft ammo and health packs are just upgrades. I haven't seen anything for, uh... Weapons or ability. For items, actually. It looks like, well, let me dig around in the menus a little bit more. Oh, look at all this stuff. Mary Jet. That's another power cell to the recirculation chamber. What the hell does that mean? All right, let me yeah, let me check the uh, items one more time. Major Nichayev. Storage disassembly. You disassemble from storage? Hmm. That's a fair amount of weapons, uh, but I don't see any items or like healing stuff in the list. Yeah, mana. Oops. Oh, well, no, I guess that's a good thing. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to be doing a subathon this Saturday, playing uh, Breath of the Wild and reading, reading this fine literature right here. Trigger warning. This is a uh, a bit of uh, it's just like weird conservative action fantasy. Uh, Army Ranger Jake Rivers goes back to college after going into army and learning sweet army skills, and there's feral liberal gangs roaming the colleges they attack him and he beats them all up with his cool army abilities uh and then it turns out he's got like a grandfather that's mega rich so he doesn't get in trouble and anyway he spends the whole time grumbling about how liberals are ru ruining america and he's already started like the book has already delivered to him a red-haired love interest that just agrees with everything he says it's awesome it's awesome so yeah and he, he talks about how worthless college is all the time so that's cool so yeah, we're gonna like basically alternate between playing Breath of the Wild on PC, trying to, I have a master mode save I'm working through, and then uh, catching up on some fine written entertainment. If it's a book, it has to be smart, and we're gonna be smart people for reading it. All right, that's this Saturday, but I should be back streaming uh, tomorrow evening, I'm producing an episode of Inside Games tomorrow, so got some stuff to supervise there, and uh, I'll probably be playing more of this, because I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm having a good time. Might even stream it tomorrow afternoon. We'll see. All right. Uh, Nintendo officially didn't port anything, but there are ways. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Oh,